Morning everyone. Uh, this morning I'm going to show you a built-in app that is included on every Mac in OS X. It's called Image Capture. So if you just search for uh, Image Capture in Spotlight, then you'll see that it's shown by this uh, camera icon. So if you open it up, then you will see that it allows you to access your iPads or iPhones or any other i device that you're using, iPod even, and it will then show you all of the images stored on that iPod or iPhone. You can then use image capture to import all of the photos from that device by clicking import all, or if you want to select only uh, a few of them, then you can uh, click on the top item, uh, hold shift and then click on the bottom item to select a, a list. If you want to select individual photos then uh, just click command and uh, you can select specific photos that you want to import. Uh, and then you can decide if you want to import them to iPhoto or if you're using Aperture, a different application to manage your photos you can import them there. Or actually you can send them directly to a folder uh, or even to the desktop. So. Uh, you can specify by clicking on other uh, where exactly you would like your photos to be stored and obviously create a new folder uh, as part of this menu option as well. So if I was to just click on my desktop and select choose then I can import those images directly to my desktop. So takes a moment. There we go. So that's image capture. You, you can also delete those images once you've imported them by uh, clicking on the small red circle uh, delete uh, symbol at the bottom left. And uh, you can actually set this up to be the program that opens every time you plug your iPad or iPhone into your Mac by clicking on this very very small uh, triangle in a in a box in the far left corner so you'll see here that a small menu opens up and uh, whenever I connect this iPad it will open image capture uh, I can change that uh, and even in fact set up what's called auto importer which will automatically import my photos for me without me having to click on anything uh, and you can if you want select the the box here that says delete after import so if you want to really automate your image uh, transfer, then you can use that option too. Okay, so that's uh, image capture. There are uh, some other options as well. For example, uh, making a PDF directly from photos or even building a web page um, directly from, from your photos. And I'll include details of that in the, in the text and the links on the Nexus Nugget blog. So I hope you find that useful. It's much quicker than uh, iPhoto once your iPhoto library becomes quite large and uh, hopefully that will speed up your photo management. Okay, thanks very much.